Fit Jade Pink, and today we're going to be doing a full body HIIT workout. So for this workout, we're going to be going through 22 exercises performed all in a row for just one set each. We'll be alternating between resistance training movements and cardio movements. For the resistance training movements, we're going to do a 30 second working time, and the cardio movements, a 20 second working time. After the resistance training movements, we'll take a 10 second break, and after the cardio movements, a 15 second break. So our, our times will look like 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 20 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and we'll just keep repeating that until the workout is done. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought about this workout and what kind of workouts you want to see in the future. Now let's get to work. <laughs> All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with a warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. <laughs> our first exercise we're going into for the warm up is body weight squat to calf raise. So get our feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. What we're going to do here, drop down into the squat, come up, calf raise. Here we go. So dropping down, coming up, calf raise. As you drop down, try to keep the weight in your heels, back nice and straight, chest out, head up. Next, we're going to be going in to seal jacks. So we're going to have our feet together and hands out together. Get those to start. There we go. So hands out, feet out, come out. Do this like that. Low impact, you're going to be here like this. Don't forget to breathe. Heels off the ground. I would say that's hands in. Yeah, it's in. Oh, oh, yeah, out in front of us. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one, toe touches. Feet nice and wide. Drop down. Touch toe. Come back up. Switch sides. There we go. If you want, you can have your knees locked out, or you can have a slight bend in them. Either one is totally fine. Next, we're going into trunk twist. There we go. So all I'm going to do here. Just start rotating at the core. You can bring those feet in a little bit if you want. Go at your own pace here. And then I like to always start kind of pivoting at the hips and feet, rotating around. Next, we're going to drop down to the ground. So we're going to do push ups with an alternating row. So push up on our knees, drop down, push up, row. Drop down, push up, row. If you want to get really fun with it, you can do a push up with the rope, just like that. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to stand up for our final one. Alternating hip flexor stretch. So feet nice and wide. Drop down, come up, switch sides. There we go. One more here. There we go. All right, we have about 20 seconds until we get started with our workout. Our first exercise we're going to be going into is alternating bent over row. So let's grab our dumbbells. What we're going to do here is bend at the hips and knees, palms face us, and then we're just going to lift one dumbbell at a time here. So let's get ready. Here we go. 30 seconds on. Good controlled movements. Try to keep the chest out, head up or neutral position. Make sure that the back doesn't bend. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Every time you pull a dumbbell up, you should be exhaling. Come on. Keep pushing. Gotta get that heart rate up. Even with the resistance training. Ah, there we go. All right, next we're going in to step outs here. So we're going to do pick a target on the ground and then right here like that. There we go. Make sure to use the arms. The more arms, just bounce them out of the side. Low impact, you're just not hopping. Still pushing those feet out as quick as possible. Come on. Make sure the core is engaged here. Let's go. Come on. Push it out. All right, next we're going into sumo squats. So we just need one dumbbell here. What we're going to do, put it in a rack position. Right here, feet nice and wide. Toes pointed out just a little bit. Drop down, come up. Here we go. So dropping down, coming up. Dropping down. 
Here we go. Make sure to keep that chest out, head up. Exhale as you push up. There we go, halfway. Come on, keep pushing. There we go. Let's do one more. There we go. All right, next we're going to squatting lateral taps. So we're going to do here, feet together. Get a nice little squat going on, then we're just going to tap, just like that. There we go. <laughs> Come on, if you want to make it tougher, just try to drop down a little lower. If you make it a little easier, stand up there. Next, going into push ups or chest press. Here we go. So, you can do push ups? Good? Yes. Push ups? Yes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do chest press then. So, chest press laying her back here. Arms about 45 away from the body, push it up, coming back down. When you come up, tap those dumbbells together. There we go. Good control movement. Don't forget to breathe. As you extend the arms, exhale. As you bend them, inhale. There we go. Next we're going in to crunches. So for crunches, what we're gonna do is be on our back. You can have your feet down or up. You know what's totally fine from here, hands behind the head, coming up, squeeze, back down, coming up, squeeze, back down. As you come up, exhale, squeeze the core, come back down. There we go. We're gonna stand up next. Here we go, we got shoulder press coming up. So for shoulder press, we're gonna bring them up, palms facing away, elbows slightly in front of the shoulders, up and down. There we go, pushing up, coming down. Good control movements, make sure to breathe. Come on, keep pushing. Two more seconds, let's go. One more. Oh, we got punch outs next. We're just gonna keep tearing up those shoulders so we get our feet a little bit wide. What we're gonna do here, left, right, left, right, throw on punches. Come on. There we go. Come on. Push it out. Let's go, come on. Breathe. Five seconds, let's go, come on. Bam, 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 bam. Let's go. Here we go, next we got shrugs. Woo, shoulders are on fire. So what we're gonna do here, hands by the side, bringing the shoulders up to the ears, back down. Here we go. So coming up and down, up. And uh, don't forget to breathe. Make sure when you're doing these that you're not looking down. We don't want you going like this. We're not doing that. Keep the head up. There we go. Come on. Let's do one more. There we go. We got jumping jacks. So hands by the side, feet together. Right here. Low impact, you're right here. Let's go. Come on. Keep the core engaged. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, we gotta get that heart rate up. Push yourself. It's a short workout today. Breathe. Five seconds. Come on. Come on. All right, lateral lunges next. We just need one dumbbell again. Hold in that rack position. Feet nice and wide, dropping down to one side, coming up, dropping down to the other side. Here we go, a couple seconds. And down, up, switch sides. Let's go. 
Come on. Keep pushing. Keep that back straight. Weight in the heels as you come down. One more. There we go. We're going in to faux jump rope next. So it's like we're jump roping, we just don't have any rope. There we go. Come on. We're halfway now. Let's go. If you want low impact, you're just gonna do an alternating calf raise or a double leg calf raise here. Keep the core engaged. Here we go. We got bicep curls next. So for these, palms face out away from us, curling them up, come back down. Here we go. And up and down. Up and down. Don't forget to breathe. Good control movements. Make sure that when you're coming down, that you're not just kicking the elbows back. And doing this, we want to extend at the elbows. Come on. A couple reps left. Here we go. Run in place next. So for this, right here, like that, low impact. Just kind of marching in place. Still a quick march though. Here we go. Low impact never means low intensity. Come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Speed it up. Come on, keep pushing. There we go, overhead tricep extension. For these, you can use one or two dumbbells. Are you just using one? I'll All right, cool. I'll use two. So if you're using two, you can just kind of put them on your shoulders. Right here, rest them there. Coming up, back down. There we go. Exhale as you extend the arms. There we go. Come on. Don't forget to breathe. There we go. Keep pushing. Let's go. Come on. One more. There we go. We got 90 degree squat hops next. So Feet about shoulder width apart here. We're gonna drop into a squat, come up, back down. So drop down, pop 90 degrees, pop 90 degrees. Little impact, you're just gonna step it out. Bam, bam, let's go. Come on, push it, let's go. Woo. Here we go, all right, next we got lateral raises. So, slide bend in the elbows, bringing it out, coming back down. You do not need heavy weight for these. Nice light resistance will make those shoulders burn. Here we go. Stay right here. Yep, you can even keep your elbows at a 90. Really focus on the shoulder. Come on. Keeping your elbows at a 90 like Jen's doing is fantastic when you tend to put too much traps into this movement. And you kind of get a shrug as you come up, that takes it out. Here we go, next we got tiny knees. So we're gonna do a nice little split stance here. Hands up, bam, bam, in 10 seconds, switch sides. Here we go, come on, come on, let's go. Don't forget to breathe. Switch it up. Bam, bam. Come on, come on, come on. Keep pushing. There we go. Next we got power push-ups. After this, it's abs. So on our knees here, dropping down, explode it up. Here we go. 
Come down, explode. It's okay if you can't explode. Just try to push up as hard as you can. Every single rep, as hard and as fast as you can. Boom, boom, boom. Come on. Don't forget to breathe. Keep pushing. There we go. We're gonna flip around onto our back. We got bicycle crunches coming up. Here we go. Hand behind the head. There we go. Good controlled movements. Try to keep the shoulder blades off the ground. Engage the core. Let's go. Here we go. All right, we're going to leg lifts next. So, what you can do for leg lifts, put your hands up under your butt, right here. Try to keep your head up, coming up, back down. A couple seconds. Coming up and down. Here we go. If this is too difficult, an option can be to leave a foot down and come up, back down, switch feet. Here we go. Or as you come down, take a little break, come back up. Come on. Exhale as you bring those feet up, squeeze the core. We go, we're flipping over. Plank position, spider man crunches. Last one, we're done. So plank, and then we're gonna bring knee to elbow, alternating left and right side. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Push it out. This is too tough, drop down to the knees. You can do it that way as well. Bam, bam. Squeeze. Oh yeah. Here we go. That's a workout right there. Good job. I got your sweat going on. Just enough to get your heart rate mm -hmm. nice and happy. Here we go. Good job. Woo, way to go. Hope you guys enjoy that workout today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Bye.